Hi, third graders. Today I'm going to read Pigs Will Be Pigs, a story by Amy Axelrod, pictures by Sharon McKin McKinley Malley. This is Mrs. Martin. Hope you're having a great day. The pigs were hungry again. Let's have a snack, suggested Mr. Pig. Dear, what do we have to eat? Mrs. Pig opened the refrigerator. Oh no, it's empty, and I just went grocery shopping this morning. Who ate up all the food? she asked. BJ, Dave, and Mike helped us, said the piglets, and Dad raided the refrigerator a few times. No problem, said Mr. Pig. Let's go out to eat. Great idea, said Mrs. Pig, except for one thing. What's that? asked Mr. Pig. I didn't get to the bank, and I don't have any money, she said. Do you? Mr. Pig opened his wallet. All I have is a dollar, and that's certainly not enough to feed the pigs. Children, how about you? Any money? The piglets shook their heads no. Well, family, said Mrs. Pig, there's only one thing to do. Hunt for money. Let's start with the bedrooms upstairs, said Mr. Pig. He looked through all the closets and the drawers. Look what I found. Mr. Pig said to Mrs. Pig, that lucky $2 bill I was saving, it was in with my socks. Mrs. Pig searched the beds, looked under the carpet, in the night table, and in her jewelry box. Not too much here, she said to Mr. Pig, mostly a lot of dust. But I did find two nickels, five pennies, and one quarter. Meanwhile, the piglets were busy hunting in their room. They found six shiny dimes at the bottom of their toy chest and a one-dollar bill in the bookshelf. Then they sat down to count out their penny collection. They counted two hundred pennies. Back upstairs, family, said Mr. Pig. Mrs. Pig and the piglets opened the front hall closet. They checked coat pockets and all of Mrs. Pig's pocketbooks. They found four quarters, ten dimes, one fifty-cent piece, and seventeen pennies. The pigs were on a roll. Mrs. Pig checked the laundry room and found a wet five-dollar bill. Mr. Pig looked through the kitchen cupboards in the pantry. Dear, he said to his wife, there's nothing in here. I'm going down to the basement. A few minutes later, Mr. Pig came running up from the basement, holding a twenty-dollar bill. Look what I found in my toolbox, he said. It's time to eat. Mrs. Pig put all the money in the shoebox. She counted it several times while Mr. Pig drove the family to their favorite restaurant, Enchanted Enchilada. When they arrived at the restaurant, the pigs said to the waitress, We're the pigs and we're very hungry. What's the special? Wow, look at this menu. Today's special, a cup of the chef's special soup, combo of one cheese enchilada, one guacamole enchilada, one chimichanga, served with southwestern rice and green chili cornbread, unlimited visits to the salad bar, coconut smoothie, sopapilla, or deep fried ice cream, coffee and tea, and all for $7.99 tax and tip included. Let's see, third graders, that's very close to eight dollars. And if there's four to them, let's see, four of them times eight dollars. Oh, I hope they have enough. The pigs ordered four specials. They ate and they ate until they could eat no more. They paid the bill and they left for home. Boy, am I stuffed, said Mr. Pig as he parked the car in the driveway. I can't bunt in my pants. I know what you mean, said Mrs. Pig. I feel like I'm going to explode. We have belly aches, said the piglets. Just a few more steps and we'll be at the front door, said Mrs. Pig. And then we can all relax in our nice, clean, neat, cozy house. There's nothing like home sweet home. Uh-oh, I don't think their house is clean anymore, third graders. All right, so how much money did the pigs find on their hunt? Well, 
it's all listed here. And if we add it all up, we have $34.67. And how much did they need, third graders? It was almost $8 a piece times the four of them. What's eight times four? Well, I know eight times two is 16. And if I double that, that's 32. So did they have enough? Yes, and they even got some change back. All right, third graders, I hope you have a great day.